So while the U.S. is sounding the alarm and beating the war drum over Ukraine, you have two big NATO powerhouses, France and Germany. Well, they have a message of knock it off. We only want peace. Those two powerhouses, France and Germany, again, RT's Alex Mihailovich, he's going to look at how this newly formed alliance is trying to de-escalate what could be a new Cold War. Tensions are on the rise as the U.S. and some other NATO members continue with inflammatory language aimed at Russia. We have been very clear throughout. Uh, if any Russian military forces move uh, across the Ukrainian border and uh, commit new acts of aggression against Ukraine, um, that will be met with a swift, severe, united response from the United States and our allies and partners. However, as Russia continues to deny any plans of an invasion, not all NATO allies are singing the same tune. And two of the group's biggest players are sending out a very different message. Although French President Emmanuel Macron has echoed the more hawkish stance that a military aggression will trigger heavy consequences, his preference of a diplomatic path has been highlighted with Macron saying that, we call for a de-escalation of tensions and I want to also say how united Germany and France are on the subject. In fact, the French president has also been a proponent of closer relations with Russia. Here he is speaking at the European Parliament just days ago. What we need to build is a European order founded on principles and rules which we have rallied behind, which we have put together not against or without, but with Russia 30 years ago. As for Germany, although it's been talking tough, its actions have gone beyond words in its push for peace. Last week, Berlin said no to its NATO ally, Estonia, which planned to export German-made weapons to Ukraine. And when the UK decided to send a C-17 cargo plane full of weapons to Ukraine, it had to take a detour around German airspace, taking a longer route over Denmark and Poland to its destination. Back to Macron, he is taking the diplomatic reins as the leader of the country which has the European Union's most powerful military and the only EU nation with nuclear weapons. Remember, the UK is the only other European nation in NATO with nukes, but it is no longer in the EU. The French president is scheduled to hold a phone meeting with Russia's President Vladimir Putin this coming Friday. For News on RT America, I'm Alex Mihailovich.